and I hope this wholesome learning process of this institution never stops. I fell in love with the teaching style of the teachers here, but also because they are so kind, friendly and impartial. My sister informs me that she has talked with the principal of Nazir Ajmal Memorial College of Education about the BA program that the college offers and that I should take admissions here understanding my parents' worries and give up my dreams of studying in Bangalore when the entire world was battling COVID-19. She forwards me the registration link and I, without any more persuasion, register. Other formalities just follows after that. I never wanted to confine myself to one particular subject, but at that moment I thought that anything would do. So I went with English major. After a month of online classes, finally it was time for us to start the physical classes. I remember packing with heavy heart, my parents happy that I was going to a place which aligned with their definition of safe place for me, yet they were hurt knowing that I wasn't leaving wholeheartedly. But even when I was looking for colleges outside, I always had a fixed supplication in my prayers. I always prayed that wherever I go, um, let me find peace in it. Wherever I go, let my uh, heart find peace in it. So little did I know that this supplication was going to be fulfilled in ways that I could never comprehend in the coming days. Fast forward to when our physical classes started, I was surprised if not shocked by all the atmo uh, by the atmosphere that I just landed in. I had a preconceived notion after studying for two years uh, during HS in Anadya Ajmal institution that all my activities are now going to be controlled that I will be forced to do something, restricted to do some other, etc. But surprisingly, I found myself under little to no pressure. The first change of heart was I finally started liking the subject that I chose for myself. I was blown away one day when our teacher in the class informed us that in literature, however and whatever you think, it is never wrong, provided you have justification for it. Suddenly hearing that, I felt so liberated. After years of mugging up of one view or perspective to one thing, I realized I may have my own take on the answers, my friends may have different take, yet we both could be correct. Now every time anybody asks me why this major, my answer is always the same. It liberates me, makes me ponder and have my opinion. Soon after this, I decided to accept things as how I received. I fell in love with the teaching style of the teachers here. Every morning, I found myself looking forward to coming to college, grab something new, and go back content. I know, and I know most of my friends over here admire the teachers not just because they taught well, but also because they are so kind, friendly, and impartial. We can let our guard down and address our worries, and they are always there to help. Principal Sir and HOD Sir's concern for our tiniest problems started making me feel like home here. Programs and sessions on every cause and occasion, though can get tiring, but I know have already helped me grow in so many ways. I soon started having so many reasons to love these institutions. I, who was frightened of balls, saw myself having fun with my friends, playing volleyball and also other sports for hours. My mother, who could never force her daughter to draw or paint, now views pictures I send of me drawing and painting on stones and plates and whatnot. All these are part of our curriculum here. And I hope this wholesome learning process of this institution never stops. As I tried to put in my efforts in everything that I did, I was soon humbled by the results that followed. Now, when I look back to where I was 10 months ago, I am grateful to see how much I have progressed. And what is more exciting is this, is this that this is not the end. Friends and seniors here are also one of a kind. It is difficult to not laugh around them. As I shed light to my good experiences here, I'm not denying the dark moments that I had. Some days I do feel low, I do feel wrong, I do feel lonely. But in the end of the day, I try to embrace them as human emotions and start the next day anew. As there is two more years ahead of us here for our batch, 
one year for our seniors and likewise our beard seniors, I hope you and I will have a good time, fall but then stand back firm, cry but laugh more, fail but achieve more, and do all this together as a family, and in the end, live with big smiles on our faces and a huge baggage filled with memories to cherish. Thank you so much for this opportunity.